and, uh, and knowledge and so on and so forth, took a job in it. Now, having a little child or something, and uh, I know I have to make money, so I say, all right, fine, what I am good for. You know, I know I am good in math, so I will be bookkeeper. So from that time, I was bookkeeper, then I was financial officer, and then I end up to be financial director. And uh, that's about my story. I only like to tell you, you know, to uh, appreciate this country, you have to come from communism. <laughs> I am convinced you have to know the misery and you have to appreciate what you have. And uh, I'm teaching languages in Lagrange. And uh, to go through those young people, that's very, very hard. You know, they think that's cannot happen here. That will never happen here. That's, that's okay, you know. And uh, Somebody else, like what Anna was saying, somebody will come and everything will be all right. Will be not all right. Some of those things, what Obama is doing, will stay and will stay for, with us forever. And that's very, very dangerous. To uh, be illegal and, uh, you know, they think, like uh, Obama, he thinks that will be like applying for the dog license. That will be so easy, a few papers, and you go through it. How about if they are on drugs, and they, they, uh, they are criminals and everything. Nobody investigates them, you know, and it's so dangerous. Because America is going not up with those people, but down. And we should realize that. Even with language, what they pushing on us, Spanish. I am not against languages, believe me. <laughs> I speak three fluently. And four, I can understand that fourth one too. <laughs> but anyway, you know, to push in the language on the nation, that's wrong because that's dividing the country. If you take the Europe and you go from Illinois to Wisconsin, that's another language. And that's, people don't understand so much each other. And they are different because they speak different language. The same thing like Spanish people are different than North American, right? You can feel it. And that's the division what they bringing here. I, uh, I think you can look even to Canada. They Canada. They every time they vote, they vote if they will be with Quebec together. And that's dividing thing. You know, we what uh, really uh, put us together and makes America, America, is the language, because we can understand each other, and no matter on what kind of educational or social, um, social, like, uh, if you have money or not, you understand each other, you can communicate. But that's not in Europe, and partially it's not in Canada. And that's very, very dividing. And you have to think about, uh, like I say, yes, that's rough to have it, crime and drugs and everything, but that's more to it. And you have to think about that, you know. I remember Germans came to, uh, to uh, Czechoslovakia and they wanted to install the German in school. And they were not able to because people were so much rebelling against it. 
that makes the country, that language makes the country and is a very, very powerful tool. That's like, if you speak another language, it's like the, the actor, you know, you become the different person. Not because you are, uh, you are different or something, but it's a little bit like that. I don't know if you understand what I like to say, but uh, it's really, uh, it's, it's different. You know, can you imagine if you are overseas and uh, everybody will speak German or Czech or something? Now you will not understand what they think. But here is one person who speaks your language. What you will do? You are right away friend with him. You know, it's very, very powerful. And you have to think about that. Living in Prague, I was. Uh, three times in jail, okay, because once I was 15 years old, I tried to cross the border in uh, Slovakia, and uh, uh, part of the Bratislava, which is the uh, name of Petržalka, and that's on the border of uh, Austria and Czech Republic, I mean Slovakia that time Czechoslovakia, okay. And uh, they uh, catch me there, you know, and uh, they put me in jail first time. It's uh, not fun to uh, be in communist jail, believe it or not, to go into interrogating rooms and three guys, you are 15 years old, and three men sitting there and ask you all kinds of questions. Who is helping you, and so on and so forth. And that time, who helped me was priest. And who will go on iron curtain? Only priest or nuns who were helping. And. Uh, so I went to jail, that was first time. And uh, second time, I was in school. <laughs> and uh, I was such a rebel, of course, you know, to having parents here. I was so much against communism. I, uh, that, that was natural. I, you know, I was always reading about America. I was always... Uh, doing everything against communism. And uh, even in class, that was mostly boys. Not many girls went to chemistry, but uh, those guys, they say, yes, we agree, we will back you up, you say that, okay? So, like full, like young, and everything, and uh, ideologist, and yeah, I, uh, I say, yes, I will say it, and you will all back me up. So I stand up, and I say, I don't agree with what the president is saying, and blah, 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 I don't remember that was, what was it. And I turn around, and I say, yeah, and everybody agree with me, you know? And we were third year in college, and... Uh, those boys, they, of course, they were afraid they uh, will not get job.